Welcome to the EZU video about quoting and presenting to prospects for personal lines in Easy Links. This video is a step-by-step -step training to complete the task of quoting prospects. We will not be covering every button or feature on the pages you see as we have a mission to complete. To learn about every button or feature, check out the videos we reference throughout the training. In this course, you will learn how to gather prospect information and send a Perl link, how to fill out contact information on the prospect's details tab of their account, how to add lines of business in the prospect's sales center opportunity, how to complete applications and submit them to carriers, how to review successful quotes and add value to them, how to document the selected carrier and prepare the quote for presentation, and finally how to move to the reviewed stage in the pipeline, and document the proposal presentation. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The first step in our workflow is to gather information from your prospect. One of the ways you can do this is by sending a Perl link. A Perl is a personal URL, which allows a prospect to complete a new application via the EasyLinks consumer quoting product. If an agency doesn't have a CQ portal, a default portal is used. The information is saved to the agent's EasyLinks account for quick and easy quoting. This is convenient for the customer if they don't have time to answer all the necessary questions while at your agency or on the phone. This also frees the agent's time to sell more business. If the customer is physically at your agency and has the time to provide you with all the details, then a Perl link would not be necessary. However, we do suggest creating the personal lines applicant and filling out the details tab rather than taking notes with pen and paper. This will save you time, as you won't have to transcribe your notes later. If you aren't using a Perl, feel free to skip to the Details tab part of this video for next steps. From the dashboard, search for the prospect you'd like to send a Perl link to. Then, click on the prospect's name when they appear in the drop-down menu. To send the Perl, click the Share icon located in the top left-hand corner of their account. Then, select the first option for Perl. On the page, make sure the prospect's contact information is correct in the fields with an asterisk and enter a subject for the email. Now, ensure that your contact information is correct in the fields with an asterisk. Then, enter the body of the email into the message field. You can check the box to turn off live quoting. Live quoting allows a customer to see the quote results. With live quoting turned off, the prospect will get a thank you message at the end of the quoting process, so you can reach out to them with the results. Once you're done, click send. When the prospect clicks on the link in the email or the consumer quoting link embedded on your agency's website, they'll be directed to the first page of consumer quoting, requesting some basic information to get started. They'll need to select whether they want an auto quote, home quote, or both. Then, they'll fill out every field with an asterisk and continue through the process of entering all necessary information needed for quoting, which we'll discuss in a moment. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our How to Send Perl Links video. As soon as you receive the information back that was requested via the Perl link, you can double check the information on the Details tab of their account. The information input by the customer via the Perl should pre fill into the matching fields on their Details tab. You're welcome to fill out any additional fields if you wish to do so. After entering all required account information on the Details tab, scroll down and click Save. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our Comparative Rater Quoting for Personal Lines video. Now that we know exactly what the prospect is looking for based on the information you gathered, we can head back to Sales Center to add the line or lines of business to the prospect's opportunity we created in the Cultivate and Qualify Leads video. To do this, click on the Opportunity icon that looks like a briefcase on the applicant pane. When you find the prospect in question, click the Expand Details button in the top right of the Opportunity card. From here, click the Edit Opportunity button. The Add Note window will appear on the right-hand side, as well as the Edit Opportunity window. At the bottom of the Edit Opportunity window, you'll notice text that reads Lines of Business. To the right of this, you'll see highlighted text that reads Add LOB. Go ahead and click on the Add LOB text. From here, you can add a single line of business, multiple lines of business, or a personal package. To add additional lines of business, simply click on the Add Another LOB text at the top of the Lines of Business section. Once you've selected the prospect's line or lines of business and filled in any necessary information, 
Type a note in the Add Notes section detailing what you've added, then click Save. The lines of business and note will now be added to the Prospects Sales Center opportunity. Now that we've added the line or lines of business to the Prospects Sales Center opportunity, we need to navigate back to their account for the next step in the workflow. To quickly do this from the Opportunities page, click on the prospect's name in the table and a new window will appear of the prospect's account. Next, we need to finish the application process on behalf of the prospect. The prospect likely did most of the work if you used the Pearl Link feature. However, if there are still holes to be filled regarding the prospect's home or auto history, you can do so now by returning to the application. If your prospect specified that they're interested in a home quote, EasyLinks offers the MSB integration to assist with home lookup information pre-fills, both with and without replacement cost. To learn more about this process, check out our MSB video or the MSB Home Lookup Integration article. Now that you know how to utilize MSB, you'll need to finish filling out all mandatory information within the application. Again, any required field will be indicated with an asterisk. From the Carrier Questions tab, click the Finish button in the bottom right-hand corner. You'll be redirected to the Invalid slash Valid tab where you'll need to fix any errors before submitting. If the system didn't find any errors, click the Submit to Carriers button at the bottom of the page. It may take a moment to retrieve the quote from the carrier site, and you may need to answer some additional carrier questions. If so, you'll see a notification that the carrier needs more information. Please note, any rating applications created before agent codes are updated via the carrier defaults must be updated manually before resubmitting. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our comparative rater quoting for personal lines video. Once the system has finished retrieving the quote or quotes, you'll see the results displayed on the page. When toggled on, the graph view will display the results as a bar with estimated premiums to the right and the carrier name to the left. This allows you to quickly view results at a glance. If you click the drop-down arrow next to the price, more options will appear. Here, you can view applied discounts, view details about the coverage and premium, view the CCF or quote number, view the broker fee if enabled by an admin, view underwriting messages from the carrier, and payment details. If you have the Easy Login button enabled and configured, as mentioned in the checklist video, you'll see the Go to Carrier button next to the carrier's quote results. Please note, not every carrier is compatible with this feature. When clicked, the Go to Carrier button will open a new window on the carrier's site where you can view the quote and run any carrier-specific reports needed to finalize the premium. To the right of the Payment Options on the Quote Results page, you'll see two tabs for Scored and Non-Scored. The number in parentheses is the total number of quotes returned for each option. Essentially, the scored quotes mean that the credit was ordered upon submission and the premium is based on that score. On the other hand, the non-scored tab displays quote results from carriers who don't use a true credit score, meaning the results are based on an assumed score. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our personal lines quote results video. Before we move on to the proposal step, we want to draw attention to the rating shelf which holds suggested Connect Marketplace integrations you can use to add additional value to your prospect's quote. Each of the cards under the Add Value to Quote button are third-party integrations you can enable through the Connect Marketplace. Check out our How to Enable, Disable, and Hide Connect Marketplace integrations video to learn more in depth about the process. Once you have your quote results, you'll want to get a finalized or firm premium from your selected carrier or carriers. The rating engine can get you a good quote based on what the prospect has provided you. However, there are some items that need to be double-checked on the carrier site, so that you can provide them with the best opportunity, as only the carrier site will run certain reports like MVR reports. Depending on what comes back on the carrier site reports, could change the premium. That's why it's best practice to always double-check on the carrier site. As soon as you've received a finalized premium from the carrier or carriers, you'll want to add a note in the Prospects Sales Center Opportunity Discussion for documentation. If you don't have EasyLink Sales Center or Management System, then you would still want to make notes of your progress in your own management or notes system. To do this in EasyLinks, click on the Activity tab within the Prospects account. Now, locate the note we added in Sales Center when we added the line of business. Then, click on the note to expand it. 
On the right-hand side of the expanded pane, click on the Add to Discussion icon. When the window appears, type in your note documenting the selected carrier or carriers, then click Save. Next, you'll need to prepare a proposal for your prospect. At the bottom of the quote results page, you'll see an option to email or print the quote results. If your prospect is in the office, you can simply print the results to show them. Otherwise, you can click the envelope icon to email the prospect the results via your agency's CQ portal or a default portal. The rating shelf houses third-party integrations to help add value to your quotes. For more information, check out our Connect Marketplace videos. To learn more in depth about the different pages we covered, check out our Personal Lines Quote Results video. Now that the proposal is ready to go, you'll need to schedule a meeting with the prospect for presentation. The presentation can be conducted in person, by email, or phone. After you've made your proposal presentation, you'll want to update the prospect status in Sales Center Opportunities. To do this, click the Sales Center icon in the applicant pane of the prospect's account. On the Applicant's Opportunity card, click the Notes button. In Opportunity Status drop-down, select Reviewed. In the Notes section, document your proposal presentation and that you're waiting on a decision to be made on the applicant's part. When you're ready, click Save to move the applicant to the Reviewed bucket and publish the quote proposal note. To learn more in-depth about the different pages we covered, check out our Sales Pipeline for Sales Center video. That's all for this EZU course on how to quote and propose to prospects for personal lines in easy links. The next step is policy sold or business lost, so make sure to check out that video next. Thanks for watching.